How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today we're going to be doing the Galaxy S4 for beginners. This is going to be part two. And in this part, we're going to go over all the buttons and just navigating the phone and just basically how to find things. We're going to start with the, uh, the standby button, which is right on the side here. And um, this button does a couple of different things. One, uh, when you just press it really quick, it does put the phone to sleep. And when we press it again, it will wake the phone up. And then to open the phone up, we just slide across the screen and we're in, okay? Now also, if you do hold down on this button, it will bring up your device options. Here you can power the phone off, you can do airplane mode, which is when you're gonna fly, or you can do a restart. So if the phone's acting a little funny, maybe going a little slow, if you do a restart, it usually will clear those type of things up. You also have access to your mute, vibrate and your sound options. So you want that sound to be on full, you're gonna hit sound. If you want to be on vibrate, you hit vibrate. And if you don't want to hear anything, you put it on mute. We're gonna go ahead and put it on sound now. And remember, just holding down on that standby button right here, that's how you uh, activate your device options, all right? Next, we have at the bottom of the screen, we have three buttons. One is a physical button and two are touch buttons. So these light up only for a, uh, a little while, then they go dark but the button is always there. Same with this button right here. So our home button is for when we're in, when we're uh, trying to get back to this main screen. So for example, if I'm in the calendar app and I'm trying to check a date and I'm like, oh cool, Halloween 31st. When I'm done, hit the home button, it's gonna take me back to my home screen. Same way if I'm in the internet. If you're online, searching the web, trying to find some information, when you're done, the home button does take you right back to your home screen, okay? So that's always, when in doubt, hit the home button, you press the wrong button, go to the wrong app, doesn't matter, hit the home button, takes you back here. Our next button is our back button. And what this does is, um, well, let me just show you because that'll be a little bit easier. Let's go on the Play Store, which is where you download apps. And let's say I go in here and then I tap apps. Well, once I'm in the app, every tap that I make, I'm taking another step forward into the app. So I'm going to go apps, it's one step, and that'll load. But last time I did trip, so we'll see. Okay, there we go. And now from here, let's say I go to AT&T Top Picks. So I just did three things there, three different steps. So now I can go back one step by hitting our back button. That takes me here, back button again. It takes me to the home screen of the Play Store. If I press it again, it will take me out of the app. So that just kind of helps you just go back one step for whatever you're doing. It also works out well when you're uh, typing. So if I'm here and my keyboard is uh, up, if you just want to get the keyboard to go away, hit the back arrow, it will get rid of the keyboard as well. Okay, and home button will get us back to our main screen. This button right here is our menu button. And when we tap it, we access uh, different menu options for the home screen. So for example, adding apps and widgets, creating folders, setting the wallpaper, which is the background of the phone, or editing the pages all happens here. We can also do a general search and we can also get right to our settings. So menu and settings will take us to our device settings, okay? Now we have a couple more things. So these buttons do act and serve different functions when you hold them. So for example, if I hold the home button, it does activate what is called the running apps. So every time you open the app and you go home, the app is still running, it's just not on the main screen. So all these apps are currently running. What you don't wanna do is have too many apps running at one time. So if you do have a lot up here, once you get to this point, you're gonna hit this left button right here, which is the trash. It closes all the apps for you. So it does help to cut down on the phone running slow by just closing out the apps you're no longer using. Let me just show you again. Hold down the home button with your finger, so hold it. And right now there's no apps running right now because we just closed them all. Now if I open a new app, let's say I open up the calendar again, and I go home, if I hold the home button down again, it'll show that the calendar is still open even though I went back to the home screen, okay? You can also get rid of apps here just by swiping to the right, just like that, okay? Now next, if you hit the button twice, it will activate a different option. So watch this, one, two. It'll bring up what's called S-Voice, and S-Voice 
It's kind of similar to Siri. It's a voice command type uh, section where you can tell it to set alarms for you, timers, look up certain things on Google, or even look up directions. So that is our S voice. Now next, uh, for our back button, if we hold down on it, it does nothing. So right now this button doesn't serve a purpose when we hold down on it. Just when we press it, it takes us back a step. Have our menu, if we hold down on menu, it does activate uh, a Google search as well. So it's kind of cool you have that search in a couple different places. And, and if you say, okay, Google, it will start listening and you can search things with your voice. See that? And it's very accurate as well. So one more time, just holding down the menu button, 1-1000, -1 brings up this, and then you say, okay, Google, and then we'll launch a search and you can have it search for things for you. So those are our buttons. Down here we have our apps, or this is what are called, excuse me, our app drawer. And when we tap this, it allows us to get to all the apps on the phone. If you notice, one of the cool parts about this phone and Android in general is that you don't have to have all your apps cluttered on the home screen. You can just say, hey, I only want to have these certain apps featured and the rest are going to be here in your app drawer. Okay. Now next, you take your finger, start where it says Samsung, and if you slide down the top, you do have what is called your notification panel. Up here we have quick switches to turn important things on and off. For example, Wi-Fi. If you want to turn on Wi-Fi, you want to make sure the switch is green. Now right now we're on a certain Wi-Fi network. If I wanted to switch networks, a shortcut to do that is just to hold down on the button. So if I hold down, it will actually take me right to my wireless networks so I can see what other networks are available. And we're gonna go back there. So we're gonna hold down on menu. Or excuse me, sorry, notification panel. So we have our Wi-Fi, our GPS for when you're uh, looking up directions or trying to navigate somewhere. Sound, tap it once, it goes vibrate. Tap it twice, it goes to mute. Tap it again, it goes back to sound. Your screen rotations, when you turn the phone sideways, the phone will rotate. Um, so if we give it a second, watch this. It's supposed to rotate. But, oh, that's right, you can't rotate on the home screen, so that's why it's not doing that. We also have our switch turn on Bluetooth, special reading mode that will adjust for your eyes, um, blocking mode, which is a really cool feature. This actually allows you to turn off any notifications to your phone for certain periods of day. So maybe you say, hey, I want to sleep from 10 to 6 without being interrupted. Turn on blocking mode, you can have it so that you won't receive any calls or texts, or at least you won't make noise until after that designated time. So that's a cool feature too. Uh, we also have our power save, which helps cut down on battery use so you use it longer. And one of my favorite features, which is called multi-window. With multi-window, it allows you to run two apps at the same time. So watch this. This little icon pops up on the side here, and we tap it. And then we have an option here to open up one app or multiple apps. So we can, for example, drag our gallery over here. Excuse me. And that's one app, and I can grab another app. I can have my text messaging app just hold down on it and drag it at the bottom. And now I have two apps open simultaneously. This is called multi window. I'm going to go back home. Finally, we have what's called the notification panel. We have our option here to adjust the brightness, so low to high, or you can put it on auto. And then these are other notifications of things happening on the phone. So it could be anything from an app downloading to you receiving a new email to uh, receiving a text message. Um, various things pop up in this notification section. And what you can do is read through them and then you can just go ahead and clear them, uh, which clears them off this section. Or if you really want to get a little bit deeper, you can say, hey, I've got 27 emails. Let me tap on that and read through those emails. So they're shortcuts and they kind of let you know what's going on with the phone. And let's see, that's about it for this section. Um, just part two, really just wanted to go over the basics of once again, navigating the phone, how to get around. We Now we know what all our buttons do and we also know how to get to our apps. In our third video, we're gonna go over how to actually download apps and also just a little bit about customizing your phone with widgets and things like that. So hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, share the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to H2 Tech videos and have a good one.